this video is going to be the last video you watch about this topic in the new year. Also, if you want, you can just go ahead and only watch the Devin chapter. If not, let's go with the flow. Let me end this AI crap once for all. Some people are still thinking that AI is going to take over their jobs. Then just allow me to say that it was in November 2022 when ChatGPT's first version was released, almost two years ago. If you think that's not a lot of time, it's the same time range that phones went from this to this. If that day comes, AI can also make supercars or build houses, since coding is the hardest thing that it can do. So congratulations, you just missed two years thinking something that is made of code can code something similar to itself. In that day, it's the human race you should be worried about, not some stupid job. And if that's not enough, this guy who went viral as a CEO of an AI company who said programmers will not exist in five years, seems to have a five-year history of exaggerations and manipulative behaviors to convince the investors to simply load money to his product. And he also claimed that he has an Oxford master's degree on his LinkedIn, which after some investigations, turned out to be a bachelor degree. Maybe that explains the five-year timeline that he predicted. Fish. The concept of AI writing code by itself is like thinking human can find out how they were made and continue making new versions of themselves. Well actually we can, but you're missing the point here, I mean producing body parts and brain. AI is not smarter than any human in any way, even in coding, and yes, even the newest versions. AI often outperforms humans in narrow tasks like calculation, image recognition, and data analysis, making them seem smarter in those areas. It can recognize images and do some calculations. So does a monkey with a calculator. This is not a fair comparison but you get the idea. To be short, AI might surpass the human intelligence in some areas, but in those places that it doesn't, is where human intelligence comes to work. Problem solving and creativity. Yes, we can build login pages faster, something we have done since the rise of Web2 in 2004. But try asking ChatGPT to be a little more creative and write your React extension, with some basic features like content script or notifications. If we wanted to do it like this, then we would use plain.js, not React. The code is correct in some parts, but in the content script, it gives us this middle finger. Even in long term, which is 15 years from now, artificial intelligence cannot possibly replace human. It may take the process highly automated, but even then, it still needs creativity and critical thinking, which are things that only human can do and no AI is coming close to that anytime soon. One of the most discussed topics in today's programming world is Devin. If you don't know what it is, it's a tool that claims to be the world's first AI software engineer. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Devin is new and right now it's in the honeymoon phase with people who highly believe in its potential. Therefore seems impressive but not likely to take over anybody's job. Let me say it this way. Many years ago in May 2021, Flutterflow was introduced. And because at the time people didn't actually understand what AI is, every Flutter developer was scared that this tool is going to take their sweet job away. As it was a visual development platform or simply dragging and dropping widgets into the screen thinking that it might handle a large scale application. Most people shed their pants and were hoping that Flutterflow would run out of budget. But are Flutter developers being replaced? I don't think so. As I was sure that it was a marketing idea to seduce some poor CEO and investors, I went right ahead and made some inconvenient comments on the Flutter's YouTube channel. As you can see, one of them hasn't been edited to this day, and the other one, I'm sure I edited just 5 minutes after, as I had slash have some grammar issues. Even in that day, I saw some comments that may look silly now, but people were actually buying it. You can realize that with the amount of likes on this comment. Let's actually have some fun with them. I have to keep this as a secret from my boss or I'll have to change my job. You go to your job. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my boss. <laughs> day by day, my job is fading away. Good news, my boss doesn't subscribe Flutter's YouTube channel. Ha 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 ha. I love this feature. It's not a feature. But deep down, I'm scared. My teacher already predicted this in 2019. Teacher, in future building app would be just drag and drop. So don't waste your time in app development. <laughs> Go for research. And that turned out to be the worst career advice in human history. I said all those worthless crap to come to this. Devin is no different. As of now, their team plan is $500 a month. And some people say that Devin will code for $8 an hour and is implemented on a Slack for non-programmers like CEOs to replace their programmers with Devin. Well, if it's that great, it would be better for them to just keep the product to themselves, just like what they're doing with the code, by the way, and just generate endless amount of applications based on CEOs demands. Please don't fall into any AI marketing trap. And this this one goes to the list of useless tools that once promised to revolutionize the world around them, but either completely failed or didn't fully deliver on their promises. To close this up, 2025 is a perfect year to start your own projects and get more experienced by them. It is now easier than ever. I also wanted to thank you for letting me see this holy number. Happy New Year everyone and have a good day everyone.